cleaning and troubleshooting your 12 volt or 18 volt fountain pump kit. 90% of the time when the pump stops operating is because of a clog or the spindle shaft holding the impeller becomes loose allowing the impeller to magnetically pull and adhere to the impeller shaft housing. We will teach you in this video how to take your pump apart to either clean it or reseat the spindle shaft back into position. The first thing to do is to turn the panel over on its face and disconnect the pump. Now using a number one Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws from the impeller shaft housing. Afterwards, remove the housing by simply pulling it away from the pump. Please make note of the o-ring, the white washer, and the spindle shaft. Be sure the spindle shaft is receded by pushing on the top of the spindle shaft. Now remove the impeller by grabbing it and pulling it out of the pump. Check the impeller housing and the pump nipple for clogs and debris. After the pump has been cleaned, insert the impeller back into the pump and then reposition the housing back on the pump, being sure the spindle shaft lines up with the hole in the impeller. This is the bottom of the pump, so be sure your nipple on the shaft housing is facing upwards before assembly. Now reinsert and screw in the four screws to the shaft housing. After this is done, reconnect your fountain heads or tubing, resubmerge your pump in water, and reposition your panel. Some useful tips to remember is that your pump can actually be running and working even though you're seeing no performance from the pump. The best way to make sure your pump is working is taking apart your pump so that your impeller is exposed. Place the panel in full sunlight and see if your impeller is spinning. If it does, then your pump is working and you may want to check for clogs within your tubing or fountain heads. If it doesn't spin, then listen to it carefully for any operation noise. If your impeller is stuck against the housing, it will still make noise even though your impeller isn't spinning. If this happens, you will want to reseat the impeller shaft back into its correct position by pushing on the top of the shaft while the impeller is exposed. Solar exposure is another important element. In order for the pump to perform at its best, the panel must be positioned optimally as described in the setup video. Pumps will reduce in performance or stop performing altogether when a cloud passes over the sun or on cloudy days. If available, a battery backup unit can prevent this from happening. Shadows are also a known enemy of solar powered products. We recommend when setting up your solar panel, do so in the early morning. Then between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., check your panel every hour to be sure shadows don't cross it throughout the day. Shadows move 360 degrees around objects throughout the day and grow longer throughout the fall and winter seasons. So we recommend checking the panel on a monthly basis using this process. Shadow crossings on the panel will cease the pump from operating or cause batteries to prematurely fail if your model has a battery option available. 
This concludes our video, and we'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch it. Be sure to check us out on the web at www.siliconsolar.com.